All right. It's good to see everyone today. Okay. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about our gospel lesson, which is from the book of Luke. You might say the disciples are in for a little surprise. So I invite you to watch the screens while I read from our World Story Bible. The disciples' eyes opened wide with surprise. Cleopas and his friends said they saw Jesus alive. Could it be true? The disciples wondered. Suddenly, Jesus appeared. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples jumped in surprise. Then they ducked in fear. You can't be Jesus. Jesus died, exclaimed Peter. It must be a ghost, shouted John. Don't be afraid, Jesus said calmly. Look at my hands and feet. Touch me. Ghosts don't have skin and bones. Even though they could see his hands and feet, Jesus saw that the disciples did not believe. Do you have anything to eat? Jesus asked. The disciples gave Jesus some broiled fish. They watched as Jesus ate it all gone. Everyone gasped. Ghosts don't have hands and feet, but they could see Jesus' fingers and toes. Ghosts can't eat, but they saw Jesus eat fish. One by one, the disciples believed. Jesus, you are alive, they cheered. Jesus smiled. I have died and come back to life for you, Jesus told them. You are forgiven for your sins. Now, you must go and share this good news with everyone. See, the resurrection is an amazing mystery, right? The disciples, Jesus told them this was what was going to happen, but they still had trouble understanding and believing it. Do you, well, what did they think Jesus was at first? A ghost, right? Okay, does anyone remember the first thing that Jesus said to the disciples? What was it, Emma? Good job. Peace be with you. See, I think he knew that they were scared, they were nervous, they were anxious, right? And so he knew he had to do something. He had to show them proof. So what's the first thing he did to prove that he was real? Lorelai, what did he do? He showed his hands and his feet, okay? But he sensed they still didn't believe, right? So what did he do next? Sumner, what did he do? Do you have anything to eat, right? And right in front of them, he ate fish, right? All gone. And then the disciples saw that it was Jesus, right? Jesus met their needs so that they could believe, so that they could find peace, God's peace. So I thought we'd do something. We have a few weeks left in the season of Easter. So I thought we'd do something a little different. On Easter, many of you, many times you get an Easter basket, right? Or you take an Easter basket out and you do an egg hunt, right? So we're going to do a reverse Easter basket. Instead of take things out of our Easter basket to eat and play with or whatever, we're going to put things in our Easter basket that remind us about our lesson. So I started with the egg we received on Good Friday, and then I put an open egg in so that we remember that the day the women went to the tomb, they found that the tomb was what? Empty, right? Because Jesus rose from the dead, right? So today, each week, we're going to add something to our Easter basket. Who's brave enough to reach in? Go ahead, Abby. What is it? A fish, right? So, Abby, can you come over and put it in our Easter basket? We're going to put it right, go ahead, anywhere. Put it right in the basket. Well, let's go this way. Is that okay? How's that? All right? Okay. So when we look at that, we're going to remember Jesus' appearance to the disciples. Now, here's one thing I really like about this story. Jesus knew the disciples didn't quite get it, right? That they had trouble believing. Did he scold them? Did he shame them? No. He loved them. He gave them what they needed. 
He knew they needed some proof, and he gave it to them. So he loved them so that they could find that amazing peace that God brings to each one of us. And then he said to them, now you have witnessed all this. Now go share that good news. Share God's peace with others. And that's what we do. Would you please be my echo? And we'll close with a word of prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks that the resurrection is real. And that Jesus is real. Help us to be your peace in the world. Together we say, Amen. And now you-